Hello, my name is Greg Bem, and I'm one of the Spokane Community College librarians. In this short video, I'm going to provide an overview of the basic user interface for Claude, the Gen AI app. This is Claude. I am signed into Claude. You need to sign into Claude in order to access the user interface. At the top of the screen, there's the ability to upgrade. I am greeted with a good afternoon. I'm provided with a prompt bar. I'm provided with the language model that I will be using. Unlike some other systems, I only have the option of doing the one language with the free plan. There's also some suggested prompts. I can add content, docs or images uh, to my prompt as I'm submitting it. There's this new artifacts capability that allows me to create and iterate documents in code. I won't be showing that in this video. And then it provides a recent overview of my history with Claude for chats. In the bottom left of the screen, I have all of my recents on the side panel. I have the ability to favorite certain chats, and I have the ability to change my account if I want. Let's start out with a short question. Let's ask Claude, Tell me a bit about poetic forms. When I hit enter, it changes to a new screen that has removed the chat history and it gives me some information. On the drop down, I have the ability to rename or delete this chat. I have my initial prompt that I can edit and resend. And then I have the response listed here in the middle. I can copy this text, I can retry, I can like or dislike, and I can learn more about Claude. I can subscribe to Claude, and then below I can reply as needed. Expand upon concrete poetry. So as with other Gen AI tools, I can iterate and open up the conversation by asking it about something within the initial response. And it knows what I'm talking about and gives me the response as such. Claude at this time can only create text, cannot create images, which is why there are no examples showing up. It also does not create in-text citations and therefore it may be prone to hallucination. If I ask it to provide several sources for concrete poetry, it will provide the following. As with all generative tools and other tools, I will want to review these tools to see, review these sources to see if they are accurate. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about Claude or other technology, reach out to the Spokane Community College librarians and we'll be happy to help. Have a nice day.